Marry me pasta sure is the reason why I am not single. Maybe not the most poised person in the entire world. But I can tell you, if I make a plate of this pasta, everyone's gonna fall in love with me. It is delicious, it is creamy, it is decadent, but it's also really quick and very versatile, and I'm gonna show you how to make it. Now, I did make a Marry Me chicken, I think back in the fall. You guys loved it. Um, and ever since then, whoa, am I low on olive oil? It's okay. And ever since then, I had a ton of people asking me if I would make the pasta version, which to be honest with you, um, I hadn't gotten around to it. That's a little bit of regular olive oil. I will refill my jar in a shallow Dutch oven. You can use a skillet, you can use whatever your heart desires. I always, I already have my pot coming to boil with some water because honestly, that's what takes the longest, okay? Pasta's expensive, I'm reusing those. <laughs> um, First things first, let's talk chicken. Whatever's on sale, whatever looks good. It can be boneless, skinless chicken breasts, boneless, skinless thighs, tenders, whatever you've got. These happen to be some breasts because that is what had a good deal and that's what honestly looked the best. So we're gonna go ahead and season it up. I'm gonna do some paprika, mainly for color because regular paprika doesn't have that much flavor. It's just about color. Some garlic and herb seasoning. We're just gonna hit it with some goodness. Coat that real good. And then I am gonna add a little bit, poco, of chicken bouillon powder. What that does is it acts as your salt and it just gives you a boost of flavor and it just makes the chicken, dare I say, taste more chickeny, but like in a good way. Do you know what I mean? Like in a more savory way. Mix those around. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my skillet once that oil is nice and hot. Yes, trying to get that in a single layer. That's just gonna cook a few minutes. You want it to sear and develop really nice color, but don't worry about cooking it all the way through because we're gonna add it on in with the sauce anyway. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and mince up a few cloves of garlic. And then the recipe, any Marry Me chicken recipe you'll find, doesn't call for fresh tomatoes, only sun-dried tomatoes. But I like to think that a few fresh tomatoes thrown in there really make it so much tastier because sun-dried tomatoes and regular tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, do have different flavors and texture. So I like to throw in a few in there as well. You don't have to if you don't want to but I sure like to, so I am going to. So we've got the garlic, and look at these beautiful tomatoes. I'm just gonna use, let's do about four. And they're sort of a hybrid between a cherry tomato and like a vine ripe tomato, you know, size-wise and flavor-wise. And if I had to describe what this tastes like, it's kind of like combining chicken alfredo with a little bit of a blush sauce. Something like that. It's delicious, people love it. You can make it with out of season tomatoes by just using some sun-dried tomatoes and then you can make this all year long, despite of how beautiful and bright it looks. Chicken looks great. I'm just gonna take it out because at this point, it's developed great flavor. Look how gorgeous it looks. It's not fully cooked through yet, so don't nibble on it. Just set it aside. It already smells gorgeous. It already looks gorgeous. I cannot wait. Another drizzle of olive oil. You could also do a dab of butter if you want. And to that, I'm gonna go ahead and add my garlic, my fresh tomatoes. And just a little kiss of some basil. Makes it taste so good. Makes it smell so good. Pinch of hot pepper flakes for some spice. Where's my spoon? That smells amazing already. Gorgeous. I'm gonna go ahead and add a mixture of cream and chicken stock, or for me, it's cream and water, and then I'm just gonna add a pinch of my chicken stock powder, my bouillon powder. Give that a little stir. Now listen, don't come for me because I know this is not an authentic Italian recipe, okay? 
my nonna does not know how to reach YouTube by herself. So I'll just make sure that whoever allows her to watch my videos skips over this one, okay? <laughs> and then we're gonna add a pinch of Italian seasoning. But you know, it's delicious. And you guys love it. And you've been asking me for it, so why not? And then we're gonna add some sun-dried tomatoes. I like using sun-dried tomatoes that are sitting in oil, not a marinade, but in oil. Usually it's oil and some spices like oregano, um, Italian spices, things like that. I don't like the ones that are like, vacuum sealed and dry packed because I feel like the texture is just never right and you can never get the texture to be what it should be. So I'm just gonna add some of that in there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and bring this to a simmer. And once it's at a simmer, it'll start reducing. Drop your pasta in, I'm using a rigatoni. I'm gonna go ahead and season my water. I'm gonna make sure your water is well salted. Remember, it should be as salty as the Mediterranean or as salty as me when my sourdough goes bad or when my nana, when something goes wrong. <laughs> Regardless, my sauce is reducing. Smells good. I like it. I'm just gonna just tour. Oh, 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 oh. I am actually gonna just turn that down so that it can just simmer and thicken nice and gently. The pasta is gonna cook about seven minutes. Definitely check the package instructions on your pasta uh, because you wanna just pull it out a few minutes shy of it being done so you can finish it in the sauce. Since it's gonna be on a really nice gentle heat, I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken back in because I do want it to finish cooking all the way through. Um, and all the juices that collect at the bottom of that bowl are gonna be just sensational. So let this just hang out on a nice gentle temp and then we'll unite it all. Drop the pasta right in from pot to pan. A little of that starchy water is welcomed. I might even add some in, okay? Because it's just gonna help hold everything together. The starchiness in that water will certainly help. Now you notice we didn't really add any salt with the exception of the salt in the water and that's because I used a lot of that chicken stock powder which is quite salty and I used it sort of like my salt. Um, dove sta, dove sta, ecco qua. Now you see the sauce is looking liquidy. I also added a ladle full of the starchy water. That's okay. That's the whole idea. That's why I cooked it super al dente because I wanted to finish cooking in here and thicken up that sauce ever so beautifully. So let it all cook together just for a couple of minutes and you'll see the change that that sauce makes. Also, don't forget, nice bit of parmigiano. Speaking of things I love, my newest cookbook. I love her, she's filled with a lot of love and heart and soul and amazing family recipes, ones that you'll love. And I know a lot of you have purchased this book, a lot of you have not already, which you should, but I figure today, how about I email, no, I will not email you. How about I mail one of you a signed copy of my book? It's like a little giveaway, thank you, love you from me to you. All you have to do, I'm not gonna ask you to tag your mother's friends, dentist, cousins, boyfriends, cousins, ex-girlfriend, I'm not gonna ask you to do any of that. The only thing I wanna know from you in the comments down below, where are you watching from and what is the one recipe that you can make for someone that you know they just love every time? That one recipe that you just know no matter what is gonna go down well. And maybe a recipe that you made for the special someone in your life um, that sort of you fell in love with over the food. So let me know what that recipe is below and I will pick a winner and I will contact you and I will send you um, a signed copy of my Italian table. Adding some more basil. I turned it off and look at this. As it sits, it will thicken, but this is, a, this is what I like. This texture of that slurpy cream sauce. Like I said, Alfredo-ish. Think that kind of luxe. It's making my mouth water, and if I don't have a bite of this right now, I, I, I don't know if I can handle it, okay? Let's give it a whirl, shall we? A little piece of pasta and a piece of chicken. Makes everybody happy. It's gonna be hot. Mm. Hot. Chicken's tender, 
pasta del dente. The sauce is like luscious and glorious and I just want to drink it. It's so good. And, mmm, mmm. You could add a handful of fresh spinach in here towards the end of it. You could add a handful of kale if you like things a little bit stronger. It's sublime and delicious and everybody will love it. Go to lauraindthekitchen.com for the written recipe. If you enjoy spending time with me, don't judge this. It's only two of us eating, so I will double dip. <laughs> Hope you enjoy spending time with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.